What's up, beautiful people? How's it going? Life is feeling really good right now, right here, which is perfect because that's the state I like to make videos in most of the time. It does feel good to share a little bit of everything, but this is really how I feel most of the time, which feels so good to be able to say because it really wasn't always the case. And today, how this relates to today's video is that I want to share about something that's helped me a lot. And that is 30 day challenges. Do you ever feel like, yeah, I have all these things that I want to do, all these new goals or excitements I want to pursue, but you feel like it can be overwhelming at times. I definitely felt that way. And so um, probably like six, seven years ago, maybe even longer, I started playing around with creating 30 day challenges for myself. And basically what that would mean is for 30 days or really for a month, I would choose a month and say, this month I'm going to focus on such and such thing and really dedicate myself to it. And one of the keys to this was not, not planning more than one 30 day challenge at a time or not having more focuses in my life. So for example, I wouldn't plan a challenge to do something while I was also traveling a lot or visiting with people or just had like a really unsteady lifestyle unless if it felt like something I could incorporate into that. The point is, it's basically saying, I'm gonna have one focus for this month and really dedicate myself to it and see the changes that it brought in my life. And I've done this with a number of things that I found challenging, hence the challenge. For example, flossing my teeth, something I didn't really love doing. Um, meditating. Also, uh, oil pulling, another oral hygiene thing. I guess I have some resistance there. Pull-ups, doing pull-ups daily. I just strapped a pull-up bar onto the entrance to my bathroom, so I do a pull-up every time I walk in. Stretching, I've had lots of stretching 30-day challenges, like doing my middle splits, for example. And also things around more mental and emotional health. One thing that I've spent a lot of energy thinking about and sometime actually implementing is intentional language. I made a video about that a while ago. I'm gonna make another one coming up. But for example, the word should, that is something that I did for, I set myself up for a 30 day challenge to remove from my vocabulary because I noticed that it didn't feel helpful for me to use the word should and I didn't like the way it felt when I was using it. And what I've noticed with these 30 day challenges is that I will often feel like the new habit has become a part of my life much earlier on than 30 days. Sometimes it's a few days in to a week to two weeks, and sometimes it feels like it takes a little while. Mostly it's the former, mostly it happens quickly, but it feels really important to stick to the 30 days because I found if I feel like, okay, yeah, I got it, and now I'm ready to try another thing, it's, it oftentimes sets me back and it's been too soon. So I really recommend sticking to something such as 30 days and seeing it through and seeing how it transforms for you. Right now I have so many things that I feel excited about and also I feel like I've done a good job condensing them down to something of a list. And I know I have a few things that feel really important to me. Intentional language is definitely one of them because I notice how much it influences every area of my life. And in addition to should, another thing I feel like I've sort of eliminated is makes me. I noticed when I said that makes me feel or they made me something and I wanted to replace it with something that felt more empowering around that I'm choosing to feel or I notice a feeling of something not so like somebody else is creating my reality because I feel like I'm creating it and I want to fully step into that. The intentional language thing that I have most on my list that feels like, oh, it's right there, it's coming, but I do have a 30 day thing going on already, is working on removing likes 
from my vocabulary. And in general, feeling like I can speak more fluidly. I still want to use the word like when it makes sense, but I find that when I'm in conversation, I often say like very frequently in a way that's not actually adding any value to the conversation. And I notice that I very much want to be potent in how I'm showing up in the world. And a big part of that is how I'm speaking and verbally communicating what's inside of me. So that's a fun one. I'm really looking forward to doing that. And uh, that was kind of what sparked this video is that I've been really desiring to do that challenge and to do that video. However, I have a 30 day challenge going on right now. I feel like I was focused on it last month and I'm going to zone in on it even more intentionally with a couple new ideas I have around it. And that's around losing body fat specifically. I've been focused on gaining muscle for a long time now, a couple years. And I feel really excited about the muscle that I've put onto my body. And now I'm feeling really excited about focusing my training continuing to do those muscle building exercises and also up other elements that are going to help me lean out more. As a flyer in acrobatics, I find it's really important to have a high strength to weight ratio. And while my strength has really gained, so has my weight because I've put on more muscle. So yeah, that's are just, that's something that really excites me. Fitness, intentional language, all things health related. And I love, being able to incorporate new things into my life. If you're feeling like you're not sure what you want to move towards in this area, but this does sound like something you wanna try, I really recommend checking out my program, Simplify. It's been amazing. I've gotten great feedback from people and how it's helped transform their lives. And it really goes through every area of your life and helps you figure out what's really serving you, what's adding value and what's not. So you can check that out here. I'm gonna have a lot of videos, I think, coming out this month. I'm feeling super inspired in life and really wanna share that with all of you. So thank you so much for being here. Feel free to put any comments you have down below. Please like and share this video if you feel so inspired. And also, I'd love to hear from you if there are other video topics that you'd like to hear about. Mwah. So much love, bye.